Hello everybody and welcome to Jet Set Radio Future Multiplayer. Now, as you can see in the bottom right, this current version that I am recording as of the 11th of February 2019, oh, that music, <laughs> it's version 0.3.2, okay? So, if we click start here, the first thing you'll see is multiplayer settings, credits, and quit. Don't click that unless you want to quit the game. As you can see here, we actually have development news, which is, um, you click this and it will open up, I think a web page, which I'm not going to do. Uh, so if we click settings, you can go and change your audio settings, sound effects, volume, voice, music, and all that sort of thing. Uh, if you go to camera settings, you can change your rotation speed and your height speed. I haven't messed around with that, so I don't know. Super secret codes, I have no idea what this is, unless this is some kind of cheats or something. I'm not quite sure. HUD settings, you can actually, in this, customize your HUD. If you want the speed omit speed to style for Jet Set Radio Original or the beta, you can do that. I'm going to keep everything as a default, and as you can see here, you can actually change your health bar, your health bar background, your white, your white text, your orange text. Probably should actually enable my mouse cursor so you can see correctly, if that helps. Okay, so yeah, can you see my mouse cursor now? Hopefully, and yeah, you can change the spray cans, the spray cans when they're empty, the orange text. So it's very customizable. If you accidentally do any of this stuff and you don't want it, and you you just click this here, reset hard colors, and you should be good to go. Uh, display settings, I've pretty much got everything on as high as it will go. Do not really mess around with the field of view. I, tr I messed around with it and the whole screen was like, it looked terrible. Uh, I've got full screen and V-Sync on. You can probably take them off if you don't really need them. Graphic settings, I've got pretty much everything on Ultra and that. The game does have a little bit of weird run. I could probably lower some of this, but I want to show you guys what the game looks like the, you know, to the best it could possibly look. And okay, so let's now get into the actual multiplayer. So first of all, there's a server browser. Now, as you can see, there's no servers found. You can click refresh. Uh, still, there's none found. There's no one playing at the minute. So um, let's, let's set up our player. So first of all, you've got player set up and player name. To so change your name to whatever, I've called myself Cyrax. Um, you can change your light trail color and your player color. I've changed mine to purple. I'll probably change this to orange, maybe. Or like a... About that, see what that looks like. You can select your graffiti, but there's only one at the minute be cool when there's a graffiti you know creation system character select now this is really cool actually so you've got beat from the ggs you've got corn from the ggs you've got yo-yo from the ggs you've got gum from the ggs you've got combo who's neutral and then you've got these other characters that you can't click because they're not in the game yet and uh, each character actually has different stats which is kind of cool and i do believe that the original jet set radio games had that i'm pretty sure they did but it's cool to see in this game, that's for sure. So, uh, Combo has the best health and strength, and uh, Gum has the best cornering, and uh, Yo-Yo has pretty much... So, I, I, I love picking Yo-Yo for the beginning of, like, Jets already. Well, you can't pick any other character than but he's my favourite character to pick in any situation, for whatever reason. So, I'm going to pick Yo-Yo to be my character in the online mode. So, you click back. Oh, wait, hang on. There was actually something else there called Player Stats. Now... As you can see, you've got your total eliminations, you've got your players eliminated, you've got your police eliminated, you've got your total flags, and then you've got deaths won. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, yep, I've had one death, and you've got your current trick score and how many tricks you do. So that I've obviously played a little bit of this beforehand to test everything out. So now let's go to create a server. Make sure you change the name, don't have the default name, so I'm going to change mine to Bumholes, because why not? You can change your um, play account. For some reason, the menu doesn't exactly scroll perfectly. You can change to eight players. You can actually change the music. So um, I'm going to keep it on map defined, so it will change the music compared to whatever map you're on at the time. Um, I don't really like changing these too much because the song gets stuck, so even when you come out of it, you're still with the song. You can actually change the weather because there's custom weather in this game, where there's rain or I believe that's thunder. I, I don't actually know if you can scroll down this properly and see what it is yet. So if, if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments on how to do that properly. So I'm going to change it to just normal calm weather. I'm going to click next. Now here's where you can select a game mode. So you have taggers, tag, taggers, tag. Actually, if you click it, taggers, taggers. Players compete in a last man standing game. A rival can be eliminated by draining their health or spraying your tag on their back. Taggers tag respawn is players compete to see who can reach a certain amount of eliminations first. A rival can be eliminated by draining their health or spraying your tag on their back. Team taggers, tag. Uh, teams compete in a last man standing game. A rival can be eliminated by draining their health or spraying your tag on their back. Taggers, tag, so basically the same thing. Flag battle. 
Players compete to collect a set amount of flags which will be uh, spawned around the map. Team flag battle. Teams compete to say so basically you've got normal. I'm guessing one's like for sort of like AI and one's for online. I'm, I have, I'm not quite sure. Free mode, which is these are the modes I'm going to be checking out. I'm going to be checking out horde mode and free mode. And I'll probably do technique another time. But technique, players compete to reach their their score goal. Horde mode, players take on the Rahuk, the I'm going to butcher these names, the Rokoku, or Rokoku, I can't think of the fucking name, how to say them, police and their golden rhinos together. So that, that's that's really cool that there's AI in this game. It's a bit buggy, Does not everything works so perfectly, but that's why I want to cover the development of this game as, as the uh, game gets updated. Remember, this is a fan-made game. Um... Very good one, but with great potential, hence why I'm covering it. So first, we're just going to do free mode for the type for, for the first one. And uh, I don't really understand what this is, so I can't be bothered to click it. Now, you actually have, uh, for this particular game mode, it gives you two maps. Shibuya Terminal, which it, uh, during the day, or Shaboom Terminal at night time. I have not checked out the night time map yet. So, um, plus it might not be, might be a bit hard to see and record. So I'm just going to do the daytime one for now. And uh, so by smile bit, players recommend four to eight. So this is where I'm talking about because I've actually spoken on Discord to the developers a little bit, and I basically said, is there going to be a uh, uh, a level editor, a model importer, and a custom game creator in this game at some point? They said it could possibly come in the next version in zero in zero point four, but it'll be very early development, and that if it does, but it is coming. So then things are coming. The moment I heard that, I was like, right, I'm going to do some videos on this game, basically. <laughs> So as you can see now it says Cyrax has joined the chat. You can now try it so you can say whatever you like. Probably get banned for doing that. But well, my ping is 135. The last time I checked my ping it was only 100. So that's gone up by 35. And as you can see here you've got the lobby. You can click public or change that. Uh, you can click start. Well obviously don't click disconnect and that. But um, I don't know if changing this to... I'm not quite sure what one means what. I have a feeling that this is now public and that's now private. But I am not quite sure. It's a little bit... Uh, that one, my ping is actually rising, so it's now 141. But anyway, let's get let's get right into it. So it even has the loading screen from the original, which I find actually quite cool. To be honest, I must admit, I do like the look of that. So now we're in. Okay, we're in the actual game now. So, okay, W A S D makes the character move around like normal, sort of. Uh, space is jump. Yep, yeah, it does have rail grinding, but it's a little bit buggy looking. Okay, so Q helps you look behind. Oh, we need to pick up. Wait, so we picked them up now. So jumping a little bit is a little bit odd. You can actually grind up rails. Pretty cool. As you can see, pressing Q turns your camera behind, which is very nice. I like that a lot. Uh, we've now maxed our spray cans. So using items apparently H. So clicking H like this will do what the original game does and give you a speed boost which is very nice looking I must admit a little bit little bit buggy animation doesn't work 100% correctly and as you can see in the bottom left actually you have the chat to talk and on the bottom right you have your speed meter which this speed speeder meter is actually the Jet Set Radio future multiplayer's version of it um, what I love most is the fact that you can just explore this entire map without any cars going to run you over or people. However, I'm guessing eventually there will be, uh, you know, civilians, AI and that sort of thing in this place. But it is free mode, so it's very cool in that regard. It would be nice if the whole game could be free mode. Like, you can just go into any map you want in free mode without, like, loading or something maybe. And it will all be kind of empty just so you can go around in it. Okay, so um, using an item is H. Spray can is L. So when you press L... I don't know if you can actually... At the minute, I'm not sure if you can tag stuff. No, I think at the minute, the spray cans only are good for if you're going against enemies, uh, like the Rakaku police. There is currently no... From what I've learned about this game so far, nothing you can do with the spray cans other than use them in battle. A backwards trick is K, so you can go like that. So that's how you uh, keep switching from... Going in forward to backwards, and then a normal trick is J. So I'm guessing we have to be on it. Okay, so we have to be. I need to find a good. Can't find a freaking long rail to do these on. Hang on a minute. The controls are very smooth actually, and uh, from what I've seen in development, they've actually started to get like ragdoll physics into the game, but they're slightly not very good looking. Like when you 
like a falling or something from a high height, the body goes like all over the place. Um, what I think would be a good idea, the dev devs are watching this video or whatever, um, is a similar kind of ragdoll physics to what GTA 4 had, like a euphoric kind of style, uh, but maybe like a blend between the two, like more the character, if it hits something, will fall and bounce. Like it hits like, um, the, if you don't make the jump and you hit like the side of this building, for example, that's where you will, um, like your character will fall. It's because I, I remember in the original Jet to Radio Future that the, the characters move and you just sort of fall and your arms flail about. It would be nice to actually see a proper ragdoll system that looks really nice. So yeah, one thing, yeah, just like grinding up these rails, you can tell is not very smooth on the camera. I'm not quite sure in game development why it does that, but you you can tell that's not like the original. But I can't believe how good the controls are. Like they feel so smooth. It's so weird. This game has so much freaking potential. Like from the, the creators, and yeah, they have a Discord, so I'll link that in the or whatever. I'll link that in the description so you guys can go and check out further but i will try my best to keep covering the development of this game as it comes out oh we've got a bit of a change of music yeah a bit of funky beat a bit of dubstep sounding pretty cool but i'm very that, no, that actually works right that's actually working how it should have done earlier like before i was standing in place and it's still it was still uh still doing the boost animation but he even does the spin he even does the spin that's seriously cool so right what we want to do now oh you actually got street challenges so you can tick them I guess oh no you have to do them you can't tick them you have to, it ticks them when you've done them so I didn't even know this but I'm not gonna be doing that so now we're gonna be disconnecting go back to the start as you can tell the song still stays even though we've disconnected out multiplayer create server again just rename this because I don't think the game will work without you doing it we can change the weather this time around we'll change it to rain even though that makes the the the, uh, the, the game lag a little bit with frame rate we'll try horde mode now and we'll do the amount of waves to be probably 10 maybe? No, we'll do 5, I think. Screw it. And uh, you actually have more maps now. So we can do uh, Shower Park, Shower Park Night, should be a terminal, uh, day or night, or the garage. Come on, we've got to do the garage. We have to do the garage. So, so I recommended 2 to 4 players. So it's really cool. This game is seriously like made by passionate fans, you can tell. And now my ping's dropped to 102. So I, I don't get the ping system. I really don't understand it too much. As you can see now, we have weather. So we actually have weather in the garage. So let's have a look around here a sec before we get absolutely annihilated. Next wave. Oh, shit. Here we go. So they actually did put the dog in here, which I found really weird that the dog is at the model of the dog is actually in the get. Yeah, the camera's a little bit weird at the minute. Oh, shit. Look behind. Here they come. Yeah, they actually come for you. So and they will and they will grab onto you just like the original. However, it's all like kind of a little bit buggy. I'm, I feel like. Let's get some uh, more. Can we grind these? <laughs> that was brilliant. You see, that was a pretty cool ragdoll physic. Oh, Christ, I picked up some speed there out of nowhere. I feel like getting spray cans is a bit too easy. Like, I'm look, I'm already at 30. I'm pretty sure that's not how it used to be. Okay, so we've got as many spray cans as we needed. And... Oh, you can you can sort of grind them, but I don't. I'm, I, it's hard to tell what is on purpose, what's from the original, and what's a bit buggy. So let's try and use our, our our spray can on these guys when they get close to us. See what happens. <laughs> oh wait. Okay. So you knock them down, and then you do it. As you can see, I defeated one. It says in the top. It's like Halo, or most FPS games where you kill someone. Okay, let's get him. Oh wait, where's he gone? Where's he gone? What the fuck? Oh, there he is. No, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get me, mate. All right, so we've got, cut, cut, well, we've got the next wave coming now. So I'm guessing it's gonna get more and more intense the further the waves come at us. I'm not quite sure if they come in from a certain angle every single time or it's just random. Now, I'm very looking forward to a new camera system. That's for sure. It's a little bit awkward. Now I have I have actually played Jet Set Radio Future on an emulator. Uh, it, there's an there's a, a, an blah, 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 there's an Xbox emulator now called CXBX, and that's quite good actually. So if you want to just play normal Jet Set Radio, so you can't. I I find it awesome they try and dodge. 
What the hell? I, I, this this makes no sense. I don't know if the is is the spray meter like different to their health bar. Oh, it actually does spray the graffiti on them. Oh shit! And they do actually, like I said, they do actually grab onto you. So to get them off, you just jump. I'm really sorry about the con the camera here, guys. I keep going back and forward all the time. I don't mean to to do that, but it's it's not the most easiest to control. So I'm on current wave. Fuck off! I'm on current wave. Oh no! Now I'm glitched. Come on. This is not. Oh my god! What is going on? <laughs> That's brilliant! I am gonna. <laughs> Alright, uh, developers, if if the AI grabs you, if the AI grabs, <laughs> this is hilarious. If the AI grabs you, then you know. Um, not to be near a rail, because this is what's going to keep happening. So now we're going to have to wait every single round now. This is crazy. See? Oh shit, I've got a black, um, a black coloured one on me now. <laughs> this is brilliant. Well, so we got, oh, the Rakaku Riot Police. So I'm guessing they're a stronger one. I didn't actually know that there was going to be different, um, different... Like, uh, ha ha so I can't, I can't be more interesting now. But we're gonna try and we're gonna try and beat the game without even. Oh, I ain't got any spray cans anymore, so I can't. I can't even do it because I haven't got any spray cans. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> I keep. I can get <laughs> oh, I'm out! Am I out? No, they got me! Oh shit! So after a while, I guess, once they've uh, had their merry way with you. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa. Whoa. I'm being teabagged. What the... F I'm They're teabagging me? That's not on. Well, now we actually get a... Okay. In the vortex we go. So the actual rain is animated in terms on the screen as well as in the sky. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we can actually get a nice view now from... Uh, I have no idea what I should have for the thumbnail. Should I, I should probably have this as the video thumbnail and just like ga getting gang, getting completely gang banged. <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. So, well, I didn't get to survive all the waves. I ran out of uh, spray cans. Got gang raped by the, the, the Rokoku police. Had a high ping rate. Frame rate lag from the rain. And I didn't win, but I wonder what you get if you did win. Like, I did find it very cool that in the top right it says who defeats what and what defeats who. That's really freaking cool. So this has a serious potential uh, mode as a horde. And the fact that they're going to actually give you the tools soon to be able to make your own content within this game is going to be great. So maybe if you want to make your own music, make your own uh, models, make your own graffiti, it's going to be very, very cool. So I think we will leave the video here. I cannot but... <laughs> Oh, never mind. I cannot believe that just happened. That was hilarious. You know, I'm trying to do a professional sort of, you know, review on this on this server and be serious. But then stuff like this happens. But then that's what I love about games like this is you just never know what will happen. So, yes, developers, that's a bug you kind of need to fix. <laughs> but I don't know if it's uh, going to happen to everyone. This shit always happens to me. Hence why I'm called, you know, the real oops and fails. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next update when the next update of this game comes out. Thank you for watching.